Good afternoon, everybody. This is Two Old Farts coming at you. My name is Chuck. I'm Lou, and I'm the worst feeling of the Two Old Farts today. And I'm the slowest on of the Two Old Farts today. Apparently, my interconnect internet connection wasn't too damn good to about two, three minutes ago. I had to reboot the whole thing. We did a test. Everything was garbled on my end. I couldn't hear myself be garbled, but my dad could hear. So if he says I sound like shit, then I probably sound like shit. <laughs> Every now and then. So what's going on? I'd rather sound like shit than look like shit. Yeah, you and me both. No shit. But today I feel like and look like it, so. Now you look pretty good. We'll make it. We'll get over it. If I just get this get this shoulder to quit hurting so damn much, I'll be all right. It just just takes time, I guess. Yeah, the uh, the notes from the X ray or whatever. Basically, yeah. what it says with all of those fancy words is you're old. <laughs> yeah. that, that's yeah. basically what it said. It said yeah, you're that's no what it said. It has something to do with age, but anyway. That's where it goes. You can laugh about it or you can cry about it. Don't but you know what? Don't do no good. When when you're young, it's all about addition. You know, you're getting older, you're learning to drive, you know, you're dating, you're getting married, you're having children, you're adding. It, it's all about adding. And then one day it becomes about subtraction. <laughs> yeah. Everything is being taken away from you. Your good yeah. looks, your your skinny waist, the color of your hair, or hell, this the hair on the top of your head. Yeah. You know, your mobility, everything is taken away from you. And it, it, it's really cruel. And you know, when you think about age, or at least for me, I used to think when I was your age, my age, I'm just really old. But now that I'm this way, I don't feel old. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Wait a minute. You just got through saying, man, your back, your shoulder. That's what old people say. Yeah, but that's just temporary. When when this is all gone, I'll be all right. Tomorrow, half the pain is going to be gone because I'll get my injection of all the dead in the nerves in the back, lower back. So that part will be gone. And my my pain doctor, I'm going to give him a shout out too. Uh, Dr. Samuelson's at Allaby Pain Clinic. He, he's pretty good. And uh, he said, we'll see what we can do to help you with that pain till they figure out what's going on but he has a nurse i call her tennessee because she's from tennessee she's a big volunteer fan so we always talk a little trash and stuff like that i call her tennessee and she called me bama <laughs> yeah everybody everybody there knows who i am and <laughs> the other day when i called i said make sure you tell tennessee i said she said okay bama i'll tell her <laughs> <laughs> But it is, it's a, a good doctor, a good pain doctor. I, I really appreciate, you know, going through community care to, to see him and stuff like that. Well, and I'm going to tell you, there's a whole bunch of Alabama fans out there. While I'm waiting this morning, this lady starts talking to me. She said, uh, you're an Alabama fan? <laughs> of course, I got on my Alabama shirt, right? <laughs> they know? just want to make sure, just want to make sure. We just start talking, and her husband, he's in uh, a senior assistant living type thing now, but he's a big Alabama fan. He's from Huntsville. Okay. And then yesterday I was at HEB or the day before, and then this guy, Roll Tide, you know, we start talking. He, he's from Abbeville, Alabama. <laughs> you know, he retired. I think I've heard of Abbeville. Yeah, down south. We back in the day we played Demon football. Of course, <laughs> we never did beat him because it was always a little bit bigger, bigger school and all that than we were. But well, pretty much every school was bigger than uh, Russell County High School. Well, Russell County High School now is a big school because it's. Well, I meant I meant I meant Shavala. Shavala High School. It's kind of like Little House on the Prairie, wasn't it? Everybody was in one <laughs> school room. Pretty much. We had 16 people to graduate, and that was the largest class in 10 years. <laughs> well, it's because you were like part of that baby boomer or almost baby boomer generation. Yeah, yeah so I th in the Uncle G's class, I think there was like 
30, 32, something like that in his class. So yeah, everybody came back from the war. Yep. You know, so anyway, it's, that's just where it is. Getting old. <laughs> yeah. Just like that old Charlie Price. Uh, that's where it was in 1952. <laughs> yep. But you know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Yeah. Isn't that the truth? It is the truth. Yeah. So, so apologies, everybody. We were going to do one on Easter, but uh, I, we all had stuff going on, and we just couldn't make it happen. We were going to do it yesterday, and then I had back-to-back -back meetings at work. I didn't get out of there till after 4, didn't get home till after 5, and at that point, I'm just like, I ain't, I ain't fooling with this. Boy, the traffic out there is just getting worse and worse, especially around 1604. All the construction and the growth out here, it's just... We're set to overtake Philadelphia and move from seventh to sixth largest city in the United States. Most people may not know that. Yeah, and it won't be long. It's, it's going to happen pretty soon. <laughs> but that's... When you do good things, that's what happens. People want to live where there's there's good things, and but that's just, just based on the city limits. Yeah, because San Antonio, they just keep growing. They just gobble up other cities, and they just keep expanding. Whereas Philadelphia is pretty much constrained by the city limits, so that's why we're outgrowing them. But we still can't get a major sports team here to save our butts. No, I I, I don't understand that. You see the money. Uh, politics, or maybe both. I'm not sure. Or I'm maybe... sure there's a little bit of politics from the sports owners of football, baseball, not wanting to put a team down here because there's already teams in Houston and Dallas, but more importantly, money. Yeah. There isn't yeah. like rich folks enough to buy the team, let alone the folks in town pay the kind of money that it takes to get tickets to a football game. Oh, it's outrageous the prices you have to pay. To, and then when you go and you just sit down and have a beer, it costs you 30, 40 bucks. If yeah. you're at the right stadium, yeah. And yeah. speaking of getting expensive, you and I, you know, we used to travel to some of these uh, games. We went to uh, the Texas A&M Alabama game when we did that traveling with the tie package, and it was what, five, six hundred bucks a piece? Yeah. Plus ticket. Now, what, what was it last year? They wanted a uh, thousand dollars or more per person yeah. for a double occupancy. It like doubled in what three years? Yep. Yeah. I it, mean, that's it's, crazy. Uh, we used to be able to afford to do that stuff. It wasn't that expensive. Yeah, you know, and these people that go to these professional football games and stuff, I don't know how they afford it. I don't either. Yeah. You know, and they go well, with a whole, with a, the whole family. Oh yeah. But you know what? Maybe that's what they budget for all year. That maybe that's their one big thing is that those tickets. It could be. It could be that. Yeah, I know. In a lot of those places, those season ticket holders, those are family deals. I mean, they're just from generation to generation to generation. Yeah, but you still have to keep buying the tickets. Yeah, that's like last year. I would like for us going out to California to the Rose Bowl. It's going to be about three thousand dollars for tickets. You know, for Good the thing we didn't go because we lost. <laughs> maybe, maybe if we, we maybe we'd have gone, we would have won. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you know what? Had you talked to Saban's uh, body man and told him, like, "Look, man, I'm going to text you what to do next." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Tell coach. Let me say what I read today. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's April Fool's joke. Said Saban was coming out of retirement. He was taking over the football team. Somebody asked him why. He said unfinished business, and DeBoer was going to be the offensive coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you knew that was a uh, April Fool's joke. Yeah. So, but you know, I I don't have buyer's remorse on him. Um, I'm 100 percent behind the man. I I like his track record. It isn't as long and distinguished as Nick Saban's was before he got to Alabama. But, you know, times change. You know, I am too. I'm excited about him. He's generating the excitement like Saban did when Saban came. I mean, 
the offensive coordinators, the defensive coordinators he's got, and how he's getting them picked, them boys uh, pumped up and ready to play. And I and I think that's having to do with all the other sports around too. Boy, the basketball team looking good. Yeah, make it to the whatever they're paying eight oats, it ain't enough. Yeah, make it to the final four. Make it to the final four. That's what his program history, isn't it? Yeah, program history. And then, uh, and uh, I think I think we're going to do. All right. I I think UConn is is a, is a great basketball team. But I think everybody underestimates it. If these boys keep their head down, and that's what I like about Coach Nate. Are we playing Clemson, or did we play Clemson? We played Clemson already. Okay. We we played UConn, and I forgot who the other two teams are that's playing. Uh, NC State? Uh, no, we beat NC State. No, we beat UNC. Hmm? We beat we, UNC. Right. Oh, that's right. UNC. So NC State, I think, is still in there. So if if we can keep these boys confidence up and not, not get the big head and just play like because that first half I was watching that game, I was kind of a little bit concerned because at halftime I think they were like seven or nine points ahead. We're throwing up a lot of threes, but not hitting a lot. But when they come out of that second half. Well, they're fired up. They start hitting all them threes. You know, what do you got to lose, right? Well, that's true. Is win, is win or go home. Yeah. So, it's, I, I like the sports. So. Yeah, and like uh, congrats to Iowa women's uh, basketball. Yeah, they beat LSU. Yeah, they did. Congratulations. And I'm going to tell you, I'm impressed with that Caitlin Clark, but I'm also impressed with uh, the uh, young lady from uh, LSU, Angela Reese. I think she's a one hell of a ball player. Yeah, she yeah. is. And uh, the coaches and stuff. And I'm going to tell you, the team you got to look out for. I think South Carolina, that's going to be the team to beat in the, in the women's playoff. Uh, I'm not They're sure how, good. The, how it's going to go. Who's got, you know, what next? But uh, it's, it's fun. What I like about watching the women's sports these days, back in the day, how the guys used to get into it, they talk a lot of trash. That's what you see with in the women's sports nowadays. You see them talk a lot of trash. and they, I mean, they really get after it. They, they make it fun. They make it exciting. I, I like when watching women's sports because if you want to see a good fundamental display with a lot of passion, and and skill watch women's sports yes sir uh, especially soccer i would much rather watch women's soccer than men professional soccer if you oh, want to watch is. a bunch of guys flopping around on the ground like a fish watch <laughs> men's soccer because that's all it is yeah uh, you watch the, the soccer just trying to draw that funny. foul card you know that's all it yeah. is i can't yeah. stand it so but it's it's entertainment and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. So I just hope we can work through this nil business with the, the money that we're paying these guys and and where it doesn't get out of hand. Yeah, I agree um, because again, it's going to become an arms race, if you will, the haves and the have-nots. Yeah. And, and to me, that's one of the great equalizers in college basketball is you could have a school like Wichita State, which was where, what, Nate Oates came from? Uh-huh. And, and they can be competitive in March Madness. I mean, it's just a little bitty school. And you look at University of Alabama, they're, what, top 10 in, in revenue? Top five, probably. And But now with the NIL, it's a matter of how rich are the alumni and how much money are they willing to and the boosters to throw at these kids for um, commercials and advertisement. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that's good. We just need to make sure it doesn't get out of hand because, you know, your mom and I were talking the other night. Caitlin Clark, Angela Reese, they're some great ball players. I mean, you can't take anything away from them talent-wise. I mean, they're just, they're just really talented athletes. But you know what? It's got to be four more out there with you. 
or there's got to be 10 out there on that field with you. And sometimes they don't always get the recognition and maybe their talent not as good. But I, I think something needs to be in there for, where they can be taken care of too. I understand they're not at the same level talent-wise. But you know what? what? This is this is a capitalism system, and the advertisers they throw their money at who they think is going to put more yeah, revenue for them, and, yeah, and that's just the way it is. Them. And I get that. Yeah, we just need to make sure that schools are doing what they need to do to take care of those other athletes who, for whatever reason. But anyway. It, it's fun to watch. I love college and I, I love uh, high school sports. Hey, we had some pretty good downloads last month. We had, I think, three from Australia. Can you believe that? Okay. Three from Australia last year or last month. So how are we doing this month so far? Uh, I know it's early. It's like second day, but. Okay. Yeah. March, the total of March, we had 81 total downloads. That's not too bad. We had five from Australia and one from Germany last month. Uh, go figure our most downloads, 35 for the month, were from Texas. And then Pennsylvania with 10, California with five, Kansas with five, Virginia with five, Massachusetts two, uh, yeah. Michigan with two, Oklahoma one, Washington State one, Utah one, Tennessee one, Ohio one, Indiana one. Oh, Indiana, North Carolina, Kentucky, Idaho, Florida, Wisconsin. So yeah, we did we did pretty good. You know, we're we're keeping pretty much similar numbers, but you know, if we're consistent with our recording and posting, we get more per month than we did the previous month. So, yeah. and I was talking to my good buddy Ernie this morning, and Lisa Sheely. She's a team leader that works for Ernie, and she's been there forever. Uh, she was telling Ernie about our podcast, and she she likes it. So we'll give her a shout-out to all of our Whataburger friends there at uh, 755 for listening to us. All right. And we do love some Whataburger. If, yeah, if man, you're listening to Whataburger, we, we could use some sponsorship burgers and, and fries. They uh they got a new one out today, bacon steakhouse burger or something like that. Go check it out. All right. Yeah. So you were asking about this month. So this month, I mean, what day is today? The second. Today's the second. Uh huh. So we've had two downloads and or seven downloads in two days. All right. So Texas had two. All of the rest had one. So we had. Colorado, Florida, Minnesota, New York, and Oregon. We have literally gone coast to coast in two days, Dad. And hitting up the middle states, too. All right. New York, Florida, Oregon, Minnesota. I'm I'm impressed. We just got to keep after it. Yeah, we just got to get more consistent. And, uh, and, and, you know, and that's why, you know, we're doing it today. Just like the week before, we didn't get it done on Sunday because I forgot on Monday. Yeah. And, but we did it on Tuesday. We're doing it on Tuesday today. We're going to try to get it done on Sunday again next week because it just seems to work out better for us. I got to get you. I got to get you and Carol online. She said she's going to call in one day. Yeah, we got to do a test drive on on the call. And did, maybe she would she be willing to be on camera? We oh, could probably yeah. send her a link to join us on camera. Excuse me. What do you think? I think, think she would. Do it? I find out. I had that. I know on Sundays it's probably hard for because they go to church and pretty active in church and stuff like that. So I had to find out. But in the afternoon, because we do it at around two o'clock our time, so it would be three o'clock her time. Yeah. So I had to wait and see, find out. I had text her earlier today. I would think she'd be out of church by that time. So, anyway. Hey, we got some concerts coming up this month, old man. All right. Who are we going to go see again? Um, We're going to go see Clay Walker. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. That's just, yeah. that's just me and you, right? Unless mom wants to go, because Brenda's going. 
Okay. Well, I got to let her know. So, yeah, next next Saturday. Not this Saturday, but the next Saturday. Next Saturday, yeah. And then two weeks after that on Friday, we got Blackberry Smoke. Yeah, we got a table for that. Yeah, we got a table, Dan. We got, right. we got a porch table. All right, I'm pretty yep. sure we got a porch table. But next it. week, yep. Brenda and I have two concerts coming up. We got uh, Adam Ant and English Beat, which, funny thing, I learned about them. In America, they're called the English Beat, but in England, they're just the Beat. Hmm. And that's on Wednesday of next no, on the seventeenth. No, that's in two weeks. I take that back. In two weeks, we got a concert, and then on Friday we got Social Distortion and Bad Religion. Then the next week after that, Brenda and I have two concerts: Terry Clark and Blackberry Smoke. Okay. And Blackberry to, Smoke. That's going to be at uh, Floors. Floors. Yeah. So same as Clay Clay Walker. Yeah. So tomorrow I got my uh, CT scan, the one that they do every year. Uh huh. So I got that tomorrow morning at seven. So they'll just look at the lungs again. So the clay walker, that's on the on the on the terrace, not under the porch. Did you hear me? I got you. Okay, because you know some you got hearing aids and you can't hear with you know. Man, I keep trying to do a search and it keeps. Ah, these computers, man. I hate them. <laughs> uh, what was I going to look up? Shit. What was I going to look up, Dad? Help me. Black I forgot. Smoke. Black That's smoke. Me. See? God dang it. We, I'm getting old, old man. I, I Just five seconds ago, I was going to get something, and then I forgot what the hell I was going to look up. Now you start to act like me. We got to figure out, we haven't been to the Roundup in a while either. I like that venue. Well, guess what? They ain't renewed their neat lease, so that's why they haven't advertised anything. Oh, wow. That's too bad. Yep. I, I, it's a great venue. I, I, I know it's a good ways out there, but. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a porch. No, yeah. Shit, that's Pat Green. Dang it. Why can't I find Blackberry Smoke? Maybe you're not licking in the right place. Oh, this is starting to make me mad. <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. He'd be throwing stuff around. The pictures would be hanging off the wall. And Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Blackberry smoke. Okay, because I bought these tickets last year. Yep, it's a porch table. Yeah. That was always a fun time. Right now is a good time of the year because he's still... Fairly cool and ain't too hot, ain't too cold. Yeah, uh, uh, that floor that's that's uh, just a great, great venue. It's a lot of fun out there. Yeah. Well, it seems like we're grasping at straws, which means it's probably a good time to wrap this thing up. And we're at 24 minutes, so hey, we've gone over the last two times. Maybe this time we'll go a little under. What do you say, old man? That sounds good because I'm gonna tell you. I gotta get to H E B and get some stuff and get ready for the more if this from the back and this shoulder is killing me. Yeah, and I gotta get ready for work tomorrow too. I gotta get my, my clothes laid out, I gotta get my food laid out. I, you know, I got a routine I gotta take care of. I gotta take I gotta go feed the dogs. So Well, you'll bring a hug for us and uh, tell her tell her mom hello and give her mom a hug for us. I will. Hey, what do you wanna call this episode? Getting old and falling apart? Getting old and falling apart. <laughs> is, that, is that pretty much going to sum it up? <laughs> especially, on, especially on this half of the old forest. <laughs> you know, something else I've noticed on our downloads, um, the episodes that do better than others are the ones that have good titles. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah like one of the yeah. ones where I said, when your parents say maybe, it really means no. That one got a lot of downloads. <laughs> so I'm thinking... We need to come up with a theme, maybe, that we talk about beforehand. Sounds you good. You know, like, think of a title in in mind, and then we come up with that. Instead of us just, you know, having a conversation. Yeah. What do you say? Sounds good. I know I've got that one thing you sent me. I've been looking at it. Yeah, my memory ain't too good like and it you used to be. you got to get on the social media and do some shit, man. 
I'm at work all day. You retired. You need to get on the social media and, and just do stupid shit and see if you can get people to follow us. <laughs> well, I've been trying to do that. No, you ain't been trying because you ain't posted nothing. If you was trying, you would have posted something. Well, I posted stuff on Facebook. That ain't good enough. You got to get on Twitter and Instagram. You got to take pictures. I, I guess I have to get my granddaughters to help me out here. Better do something, man. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, fire you, it's going to be the one old fart. That's true. All right. Y'all take care, right. everybody. Y'all have a good one. We love all you guys. Love you, and man. I hope y'all had a, a fantastic Easter. We did. All right. Just me and mom. <laughs> All right. Love you. We'll see you. Love you. Bye. All right, bye.